Okay then my friends, in the previous video we used the specify command to make a new spec which is now sitting inside the specs folder within a 001 initial page setup folder and that is also the name of the branch that spec kit switched us to to work on this new feature. So all the remaining work that we do for the feature including all the planning or the code generation itself can be done on this branch. Anyway, now we've got the spec created, we can either go right onto the planning stage by running the forward slash plan command, or we can optionally run the clarify command first of all. And the clarify command instructs the coding agent to read through the current spec file to find any ambiguities, edge cases or areas that might need further clarification and it asks us about them and then we can provide feedback for each one of those which the agent will then bake into the spec file. So this step isn't required but it might be a good idea especially if you have any needs clarification markers in your current spec. So let's do this then. I'm going to say forward slash clarify and this is going to run the clarify prompt. I'm not going to go through this, but you can read through this if you like. It's quite detailed, but essentially what it's going to do is look at our spec file and it's going to see if there's any underspecified areas. If there is, it's going to ask us about them and it will give us some options that we can reply with. And once we've answered all those questions, then it's going to update the spec with our answers. Also, if there is any of those needs clarification markers in there, it should look at those as well and ask us about them. So let's run this command. I'm going to press enter now and just give it a minute or so to look at the file. All right, so now we've got the first question and it says, how should the app store goals data between browser sessions? Okay, so I want local storage. I was going to specify this in the plan later, but it's asking us right now. So I'm going to say option A, but the other options were session storage, uh, cloud database or file download and upload. Or at the end, if you want, you can just provide your own short answer, less or equal to five words. I'm going to go with option A and just hit enter. All right, next question, and that says, what should happen when a goal's end date has already passed? So option A is keep it in the current goals with an overdue label. B is automatically move to completed goals marked as expired. C is show urgent warning pop-up requiring a user action. D is move to a separate overdue column, or we can give a different answer. I'm gonna say delete overdue goals and press enter. All right, question three is what should happen when a user tries to submit the goal form with empty fields? So option A is show a red border around the fields with inline error messages, uh, display a single error or pop-up alert listing all missing fields, disable a button or the submit button rather until all fields are filled, shake the form and highlight empty fields. So I think this one right here, let's just go with something simple, option A. All right, next one. So how should completed goals be organized in the right column? Most recently completed at the top, oldest completed goals at the top, alphabetical order, completion day. I think A, again, let's just go with that. All right then, so the next one, how should the system display days remaining for goals with end dates far in the future? Show exact number, okay, that's a lot of days, convert to approximate units, uh, cap display at maximum, show both formats, I think B for this one. I think showing all the days if it's that far in the, uh, the future is a bit silly. Let's go with B and press enter. Right, so that's all done now it says it's filled in all of the clarifications so we've done five questions and if we scroll down here it says the recommendation now is to proceed to the plan so also if you look at the spec file over here you can see there's going to be new sections in it all down here i think let's have a look yeah we've got some different functional requirements down here that it's added based on our answers We've got some clarifications down here as well. So every question and answer is down there. And I think that's it. So now we're ready to move on to the plan stage. I'm going to keep these changes like so.